you're here. I was worried you weren't going to make it. So, since you're here, why don't you go ahead and subscribe. In this video, as you saw in the title, we are going to be connecting two plugins together, which doesn't really make any sense. But I've had that question and comment a lot in the videos of people wanting to connect two plugins together. They're already connected, but I want to create this video to show you guys that they're already connected. From what I can tell, you're asking about connecting using the information from one plugin into another plugin. Well, if those both of those plugins are activated, installed and activated, you can use any of those functions and classes in anywhere in the site, in another plugin or in the theme. So in this video, we're gonna create two plugins that will, one will have a function in it that gets the latest post, and the other one will have a short code in it that displays the latest post. So that way you can see that these plugins are connected, right? So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So here on the ideapro.io site, um, we're gonna go to our plugins and we're gonna go over here to our code. And we're going to create two plugins, as I said. So we're gonna create plugin A that has the function that gets the latest post. And then we're gonna create function or plugin B that displays that latest post in a short code so that you can use it anywhere in the site or in the theme or something like that. So let's get started on the first plugin here. So we're gonna create a new file and save it. WP content plugins folder here and we're going to create a new folder for our new plugin and we're going to call it connect plugin a all right so we're going to create that and then this page we're going to call it connect plugin a.php that is the page that will be used when wordpress finds that plugin so we're going to open up some php tags here and we're going to do just a simple quick little comments up here and we're going to say plugin name is going to be plugin a and we can put a a here and then we're just going to say description is first plugin name a it's good enough and then we're going to close out that that there all right so that is all we need to create our plugin so we're going to go over to here and we're going to refresh this plugin page and so here we've got aa plugin a and i named it aa plugin a so that it would show up at the top um, you can name it whatever you want i just didn't want it to be all the way down at the bottom where you got to scroll down so we're going to activate that plugin of course that plugin doesn't do anything because we haven't added any code to it but now we're going to go in and we're going to create a new file and we're going to save that file and we are going to back out of that plugin and go back into our plugins directory here we're going to create a new folder and call it connect plugin b okay all right so then our page that we're going to call here is called connect plugin b dot php we're going to save that and again we're going to create a php tag up here at the top we're going to add some comments and we're going to say plugin name aa plugin b okay that way it just shows up at the top up there i'm going to say description descript description if i spell it right this is plugin b b that will connect to plugin a all right i'm going to close that comment out like that all right, and we're gonna save that. We're gonna go back over here to our plugins and we're gonna refresh the page. And now right here we have AA plugin B. This plugin, this is plugin B that will connect to plugin A. All right, so we're gonna activate that. Again, that plugin doesn't do anything because we haven't put anything in the plugin to, to have it do anything. All right, so we're gonna go back over here to plugin A. Now in this plugin, we said we're gonna write a function basically that gets the latest post we're going to do function and we're just going to say plugin a latest latest there we go latest post all right and we're not going to put any arguments in here at the top we're just going to grab the latest post all right so here on that we're going to do some args 
is equal to, and it's going to be an array. And the first argument is going to be number number posts. There we go. And that's going to equal to one. Okay. So that's really all the arguments that we need in here for this function. Okay. So now we're going to say most recent is equal to wp underscore get recent posts. All right. And then inside here, we're going to put in our args. Okay. Return most recent zero like that. And that would return the, the most recent post. Okay. So let's just leave it like that. And then, so now that this plugin is activated, it's installed and activated on the site. Now we can use this function inside of plugin B. And that goes with any plugin that's installed. If you have, let's say you have Yoast or something installed and you want to pull a feature that Yoast uses into your own plugin. If that plugin is installed, you can pull in that function into your own plugin and use it. So any of the functions that you find in any of the plugins, you can use as long as there's a connection, a connection to it, which is more than likely going to happen. More than likely if a plugin is activated, all the functions in that plugin are available for you to use. Okay. Classes might be a little bit different if there's a class that's not being used in that plugin, it might not be available. If there's a huge list of classes, uh, maybe there's an auto load. If that auto load is in there, then that class more than likely would be available. So now we're going to go into plug plugin B and we're going to use this function in plugin B and, and make a short code that we can use on a page in the website. Okay. So plugin B, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a first we're going to create a function and we're going to call it plugin B shortcode. Okay. All right. So then down here, we're going to say add action. That's not right. We're going to say add shortcode. There we go. And this first um, attribute or argument here in this function is going to be what we're using in the website on the page or post or something. So we're just going to call it plugin B um, latest, right? Or plugin, let's call it plugin A latest, right? Because that's what we're doing is we're grabbing the, the latest post from plugin A. Now this second argument is going to be actually this function here. So we're going to put this here. Now, to use that function from plugin A, all we got to do is call that function. So we can go over here, we can copy this right here and we can paste it in here like that, but it's still not going to do anything because all we're doing over here is we're returning that latest post. So this short code isn't going to do anything, right? So what we need to do is we need to say, let's say dollar sign latest is equal to. Now, what I would do is to run this short code, I would say dollar sign latest is equal to and just make an empty variable. Then right here above this function is say if function, if I spell it right, function exists, exists, I'm not spelling anything right. If function exists, and then, we're, so we're gonna wrap this in a, um, in an if statement, all right? If function exists, and then we're gonna put two semicolons here and we're going to paste in this, right? So now what we're saying is if this function exists, latest is going to equal to the post, right? So what we're doing now is we're saying um, if plugin A was for whatever reason was deactivated and you didn't wrap that in an if statement, it's going to cause an error. It's going to not be able to find um, this function because it's no longer active and it's going to cause an error on your website and the website will crash with a fatal error because it can't find that plugin. But now we're saying if function exists, latest is going to equal to um, our function here, which is going to grab the latest post, right? So now we can come down here and we can process that latest post, but we're going to say if latest 
is object. Okay, so if latest is an object, we're going to return that latest post. If it's not, we're not going to do anything. So we don't even need an else statement there. We're just going it, the what wherever we use this would just be blank, right? So we're going to say if latest. All right. So now we can say here we're just going to say this is where the latest post would show up. Just using that as an example right now. Okay, and we actually want to return that. We don't want to echo it out. So we're going to save that. We're going to copy this. And we're going to go over to our pages here. And this is the front page of the website. Right here, my name is Sammy and I am 21 years old. That's another, another example that we, we used. We're going to go to the pages. Uh-oh. Undefined function add short code. All right. Well, if I actually spelled short code correctly. There we go. See how easy that is to break a website? All right, so now that we spelled short code correctly, now we can go into our home page here and right toward the top. So welcome to the testing area. Let's see what we got here. Um, so this is this area here. So right below this welcome to the testing area, these are two separate blocks, I believe. All right. So we're going to create a new block and we're going to add a short code. So we're going to say short code and then we're going to put two brackets and paste that short code in there and we're going to update. And so now it says welcome to our idea pro testing area and then underneath that we have put in that short code. So we're going to go back here to the front page and we're going to refresh. Why is it not working? So let's find out what's going on here. So latest, latest, if object. So let's print out right here and see what's going on. Latest. And we're going to back over here and we're going to do a refresh. And there is our latest post. Ah, it's not an object, it's an array. So if is array, there we go. So latest, there we go. So is array, so if we go back in here and now we refresh, we have this is where the lat, uh, latest post would show up. All right, so now let's get rid of this here. So we called it, an, uh, we asked if it's an array instead of an object, all right? So now we have, we can see what this is right here, and we're gonna use these little details to display the latest post, all right? So we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna create a content variable. Uh, let's just, yeah, let's do that. Let's create a content variable. We're actually gonna pull that out and put it up here because we're gonna come underneath this and return, come on, return. I can't spell anything today. Recur return content, whoops. And that way that when this function, if this function doesn't exist or if that latest one is not an array, it's still gonna return content, but content is gonna equal nothing, okay? We could say if is array and not empty. Let's do empty. Empty. There we go. Not empty. Dollar sign latest. There we go. So that way it says, oh, if this array is not empty, then we're going to do this here. All right. So we're going to use our content string variable there, and we're going to concatenate that string with a couple of details here. So we're going to call a div. And inside this div, we're going to come down here and we're going to say content dot equals. Whoops. So now what we've did is we've opened a div and closed a div. So here in the side of this, we're going to say content dot, and then we're going to put a H2. Let's just use an H2. Uh, close that. And then do close the single quotes there. And so now we're going to use the variable from the latest. All right. So we're going to say latest. And if we look over here, this is an array. It's not an object, all right? So we're going to say latest post underscore title. And then underneath that, we can do content dot equals. And we could put the a snippet here if we wanted to, 
or the date or something like that. Let's put the date. Let's say, uh, let's just grab post date. We're not going to worry about formatting it or anything like that. I need to make a video about formatting the date. All right, so we're going to say dollar sign latest and when that post was made. So we're just going to say date. All right, so now we've got these paragraph tags, but let's say we want to wrap this uh, H2 um, and make it a link. So we can just do a, a reference there. Or, all right, href is equal to, and then we're going to close those and we're going to say dot, and we're going to do get permalink, and we're going to say dollar sign latest and ID. Okay. All right. So now if we save this and we go back over here and we refresh our page, now we have testing and the date here of that, um, the latest post. And that is the latest post that's been made on this site. So if we click on it, it will take us to that post, which evidently doesn't have anything in it. So, but, and we could go back into this div and do some, just we'll, we'll do some inline style here. We're gonna say padding is 22 pixels. Let's do border solid one pixel. And we're gonna do gray, you know, or we could do black. Let's do black uh, zero, zero, zero. And then let's do a background color of gray. Okay, so now if we save that, come back over here and refresh. Now we have this big huge box because we didn't restrain it from anything at all. We've got this big huge box and, and up here at the top of it we could put, you know, let's do another content thing here that says uh, some content dollar equals and let's do a, uh, an H1. Right. latest post there we go so now inside of there we have latest post testing and the date that it was posted so basically you could pull in anything into that and post it there but this video was just to show you guys that you can link use another function from another plugin now we did this in a secondary plugin but this code could be used inside of a theme you could take out the you know the the actual short code stuff here and just take this code and use that part into a theme and instead of using a content variable just echo it out onto the onto the page so hope you guys enjoyed this video like it so that youtube knows it's a great video um, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications because as everyone knows subscriptions on youtube don't mean anything Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks. What you guys doing? What does it look like we're doing, nerd? Christmas decorations. Hanging Christmas decorations? Yeah. Where's the groceries? In the back of the truck. Oh, shit. Do you have any frozen stuff, sir? <laughs>